Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today I want to show you a couple of productivity hacks that I have inside of Studio One that you might not know of yet. Hopefully this is going to improve your workflow. My first workflow hack tip is for all of these producers like me who like to work with the arranger track or section based. So to show you what I mean, I'm in a song production here that's kind of divided up into verse, chorus, before that there's the bridge, the intro and so forth. And if you work like this, this method is going to work amazing. So let's assume that I'm just working on the verse section right now. And I have a lot of tracks here in my arrangement. And as you can see, a lot of these tracks aren't actually playing in that section that I'm currently working on. So there's not really any need for me to see all of these tracks, right, that have information for other sections, but not for this particular one. And that's where an amazing keyboard shortcut comes into play. And that is show tracks with events in loop range right here. Just assign that to any keyboard shortcut that you like. It would be best to pick one that has an adjacent keyboard shortcut that's also free. In my case, that's not so easy because I have so many keyboard shortcuts assigned already, but maybe J because that's currently free and so is K. And like a good wine, this keyboard shortcut pairs excellently with undo visibility change. You're going to find that as soon as you type undo here. So I'm just going to uh, bind that to the K shortcut. Hit a sign and OK and watch this. So if I'm just working on my verse section right here, I hit J and I only see tracks now with contents inside of this actual section. And once I'm done, I just hit K and I see the entirety of the tracks again. To show you what an impact this makes, let me just zoom out all the way, right? This is amazing. I love it. Another function that not many users know about, but that is so powerful inside of Studio One, is the ability to replace a sample across the entire timeline. So in this song production right here, I have an impact sound, you know, an emphasis on the downbeat that sounds like this. Okay, and I would like to exchange that sample, but not just on that spot everywhere you know, at the same time. How can I do that? Well, first of all, I find a new fitting sample by going to the files browser inside of Studio One. And uh, let's pick any sample here. For example, this one here. You know, maybe I prefer this one. And then I can go ahead and drag this sample directly out of the browser here in Studio One. And then holding down Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows as I'm dragging it onto the track, I'll see this box appear, replace event. This indicates that I can now change the entire sample across the entire track on the entire arrangement and boom, as soon as I let go, the job is done already. Now I have this impact sound instead of this. My final productivity hack tip for today would be for all people who work with audio a lot, be it like podcasters or if you're doing samples and sound design. You probably know the issue then that you have a timeline that looks kind of scattered like this with a ton of gaps in between because you did a lot of editing and now you would like to close all of these gaps at once. But it would be extremely tedious, obviously, to move all of these events like this and uh, depending on how many events you have on your timeline and how long your project is, this could potentially take hours and would be incredibly frustrating. Instead, you just head up here to the macro toolbar. That's this icon right here. And then from the page selector that you find here on the left, you just select the explore macros page that comes pre-installed. And here you should find the command close gaps. This is what we want, right? And now if I select all of the events that I want to bring closer together, I just hit this button, close gaps and watch what happens. Isn't this awesome? This can also save you a ton of time. And then you could just render this into one file, for instance. So hopefully one of these tips was helpful for you for your future workflow in Studio One. Let us know which other workflow hacks that you have that I haven't mentioned. Would love to hear from you. And thank you for watching.